Hey guys! This onion juice recipe is definitely a new staple of mine. I love it. But in true fashion, I had to give it an upgrade. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a stronger recipe for maximum results. For one application, all you'll need is an onion, two garlic cloves, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here's a link to a video that goes over in detail the science behind how onions boost hair growth. If you're wondering what type of onion to use, it's best to use a yellow onion because they have more sulfur and flavonoids. You can tell because they have the sharpest taste. Garlic and onions are members of the same allium family, so garlic also has an insane amount of antibacterial and antifungal properties. Garlic also has a high amount of sulfur and stimulates blood flow to the scalp. On top of that, it has tons of zinc and copper. The cayenne pepper has capsaicin in it, which is a powerful bonus because it also increases the stimulation of blood flow to your scalp. This combination creates a serious hair growth aid, and it's a safer organic substitute for those of you that are thinking about using monostat for hair growth. Fun fact! Did you know onions had such a spiritual significance to ancient Egyptians that they were placed in the tombs of kings? Yep, our ancestors were definitely on to something. Anywho, I'm going to show you two methods of how to prepare this onion juice recipe. The blend method and the boil method. They're both equally effective. There's an alcohol method where you soak an onion in alcohol overnight strain the mixture and use it, but the alcohol dries your hair out a lot, so I don't recommend this method for anyone with highly textured hair. With the blend method, all you'll need is a high-powered blender. You can also use a food processor or a juicer. Cut off the ends and peel off the scales of the onion and garlic. Make sure not to peel off too much because most of their benefits are on the outer layers. Then blend them. Strain out the liquid from the fibers. You may have to give it some help or you could just use a cheesecloth. Then add one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Put it in an application bottle and it's ready to use. It's best to use this mix fresh for maximum potency so this portion is good for one application. For the boil method Make sure to first chop the onion and garlic into small pieces and let it sit for about 5 minutes so it can release a powerful antioxidant called allicin. You know the allicin is developing when you start to smell that familiar sharp scent of onion and garlic. Add 1 chopped onion and 2 chopped garlic cloves to 1 and a half cups of water. Onions and garlic are special because boiling them does not destroy their nutrients and health benefits. Instead, they're transferred into the water. Once it starts to boil, remove it from the heat. You can simply pick out the chunks with a spoon or sift them out. Let it cool, add the one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, then add it to an application bottle and it's ready to use. Since it was boiled, you can also store any leftovers in the refrigerator for up to five days. I want to go over a few mistakes I made when I first did this treatment, so you can avoid them. For the blend method, make sure not to skip the straining step. The onion and garlic fiber seem innocent, and it's easy to assume that they'll effortlessly wash out, but no, not with tightly curly hair. It's so quick to simply blend the recipe and skip the straining process, but you'll pay for it later on because those little pieces will get stuck in your curls and they're difficult to get out. Also, do not wash your hair before the onion treatment. Wash it after. If you do the onion treatment after washing your hair, that lingering onion smell will be more pungent and will last longer. I previously made both of these mistakes and paid dearly for it, so please avoid them.
Everyone does this differently, but I like to do this scalp treatment when I have braids in my hair because braids give me better access to my scalp without having to manipulate my thick hair so much. This recipe will affect everyone differently. Certain medications such as aspirin can increase sensitivity to onions. So you may want to test a small section of your skin first and watch for any reactions like if that area turns red or if you see raised bumps. If you're good, go ahead and coat your scalp. If you don't have braids in your hair and your hair is thick like mine, I strongly suggest you do this in sections to avoid tangles. Long braids like these can be rough on your edges, so if you plan on getting them, make sure your edges are strong and full. Install them loosely and don't wear them too often or keep them in for too long. I plan on only having these in for one month. Massage your scalp for a minute or so to help jumpstart blood flow. You can invert your head as well if you're up for it. Now you have two options. You can either just use a shower cap for two hours or sit under a hooded dryer for 30 minutes. After it's done cooking, wash and condition your hair as usual. The wash should be enough to get rid of all the particles, but you may want to use a nice smelling essential oil mix to help with any lingering onion smell. Overall, this treatment is worth trying for those of you with thinning edges, shedding issues, and if you're looking for an effective growth aid. So I know you're excited and you want to try this right away, which is great. But I want to remind you not to overdo this because if you do it too much or too often, it can cause a really bad headache and make your scalp really sensitive. This onion juice recipe I gave you is powerful and it works best if it's used long term. So rather than using it every day for a week and then stopping, try to do it once a week or once every two weeks on your wash days and stick with it long term. That's what I plan to do, so I'll show you an update in a few months. Here are some answers to questions you may be thinking. If I missed anything, let me know below. Hey again, I hope this video was helpful. Here's a link to a video that goes over the science of how onion juice works to speed up hair growth, just in case you're curious. And a link to a video on monostat for hair growth. I plan on using this recipe once a week and I'll give you an update in a few months. Let me know below if you plan on trying this and what your regimen's gonna be. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.